guys, Grandma Corn 411, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be, I'm going to be using a product that I used once before, and I reviewed it, and I liked it, but I didn't love it. Okay, I liked it, but I didn't love it. convince you to go and buy the products that I use okay that part is totally up to you I, I guess um, you have product reviewers um, and then you have regular regular people like me then you have people that tell you how to style your hair and everything my hair is simply on a natural hair journey I wanted to get that out of the way because I noticed that there's a difference in what I do and what other natural, you know, go and get this product, blah, 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 blah. That's not why, that's not why my channel is where it is. I am reviewing my hair from the time it looked like this. Until now. And I'm documenting it. Because I feel like if my breast cancer ever comes back. You know, I can have something that I can go back and look at. Which I pray to God. It never comes back, ever. But I can have something that I can go back and look at and that'll mo motivate me because I didn't have nothing that motivated me when I lost my when I lost all my hair before. So it's, this is a totally different, totally different thing. So if if you're looking for product reviews, um and product reviews only, then this probably is not the channel for you. Now, I do tell you, mm -mm, this smell, this product smell good. Oh, well, it, it went on good. Da, da, da. But that that's just me talking. That's just me talking. That That's it. That's not saying, oh, this product is, you should go and pick this up. It, this is so good. You need this, this primer in your life, blah, 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 blah. No. It's going to be a simple conversation with me talking about the products that I didn't chose to use on my natural hair journey. So since that's out the way, and at first I was a, I was a little confused because I thought that you had to be, be like a product review person or, you know, I, everything I bought, and I have a lot of products, but everything I bought, I bought. I've, I've bought. Nobody has paid me. I don't get paid by YouTube. I don't get paid by the sponsorships. I don't get paid by nothing. I don't have enough views. I don't have enough all that kind of stuff. So I don't even want to go. I don't even want that stress. You know what I mean? I don't want that stress. Some people do YouTube as a full-time job. Those are the people who are, you know, good and, and what they're doing and everything, then it's their job. But for me, I'm just documenting my natural hair journey. That's it. Nothing else. Um, and telling y'all the products that I use while I'm on my journey. That's it. So, with all that being said, since my hair is dry, 
I gotta go in with some aloe vera to wet it up. Cause I wanna make sure the last time I used it, I don't think I had it wet enough. So it was more like a a fluffy wash and go. One of one of the videos. So my hair is wet. Wet. Oh baby. Now I'm gonna add the primer. And y'all, on the real though, this stuff do smell good. It smells like summertime. It's it smells like summertime. So I like that. Now the um I'm gonna tell you right now, if you do go and 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 purchase this, I'm just putting more of the primer. The shampoo and the conditioner. If you try, if you stand there and try to pump that shit out, that's gonna be hard for you to do. That's some thick stuff. The shampoo and the conditioner is some thick stuff. Do you hear me? Thick. Oops. God dang it. Spilled it on my leg. But did, am I gonna stop that for me? Not using it? Uh uh. Oh, this this is real. Real watery. I mean, it's real watery. It kind of feels like, um, like aloe vera. It kind of feels like you're putting aloe vera on your hair. That's how slick it is. But when I say watery, yeah. And put that right on back in there. Because I don't want to use too much product. See, so last time it didn't turn out like this. Last time I didn't have it wet enough. This time I got it wet enough. So let's speed up the video.
advice I got. I, you know what? I'm going to say what's on my mind. I'm going to say what's on my mind. And this is not me reviewing the products at all. But uh, the packaging sucks. <laughs> the packaging sucks. The only one that makes sense is the primer. It's the only thing that makes sense out of the whole thing. This gel oil should have been in a package like the like the primer. This too liquidy. It's it's too liquidy. And then with the shampoo and the conditioner, it should have been in something like the primer. That's all I'm saying. Now, now that's not a product review or nothing, but the um the shampoo and the conditioner came out like i mean i had to take top off and squeeze it out and it came out like constipation like like that stuff had been constipated or something and then turn around and have diarrhea with the dang on gel oil mm. i don't know i don't know but we're gonna see how this is gonna dry because right now my hair my aloe vera got it soaking wet and the gel oil got it soaking wet so Y'all find y'all a jack in the box, which I call it jack in the crack. Get y'all one of them caramelized coffees. Ooh, we child. Ooh, we child. But yes, um, let's wait now because you know I ain't doing no heat. We're going to wait, let it air dry. Either I'm going to come back or I'm going to have some pictures at the end of the air dry. I wish I had. I, I don't like this part of my hair. I may end up bobby pinning that up all the time. All the time. Because it's like it just want to hang right there and it's straight. So, I'll be back. Before we go too far, I forgot the oil. Now, the oil is spraying on perfect. It's coming out right. This is something I know I'll be able to just go to and grab. And I ain't got to go through surgery procedures to put it on. So, yep. Be back when it dries. But yeah, so hair is about 85% dry. I probably got about two more hours before it's dry, if that. And then if not, I'll just plop it. I got videos on plopping hair where I take something like this and I'll put it over my hair and let it soak up all the extra stuff that's in there because the roots. And I ain't sitting on no dryer. I'm just not going to do it. But anyway, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on my natural hair journey. I'm not trying to push products on you guys or nothing like that. This is not my job. YouTube is not my job. My hat goes off to the ladies that are getting paid because I know they're getting paid good off YouTube. But I'm not one of those people. I'm not getting paid off of YouTube. I don't have sponsorships. All the products that I have, and I have a lot of products, I have spent my hard-earned money on and bought them and used them. And I only buy things that I think are beneficial to my hair. That is, makes my hair healthier and help me retain it. So, <sighs> with all that being said, subscribe, click on the notification bell. Keep God first in everything you do and I do mean everything. And I'll see you guys in my next Natural hair journey video. Mm -hmm. Sure, boing boing. Bye, guys. Wow.